The ultra-dense battery technology boasting an impressive energy density of up to 500 watt-hours per one kilogram presents a superior solution for everyday consumers, achieving an 80% charge in less than six minutes. This addresses one of the most common and practical concerns regarding electric vehicles, significantly reducing the gap between refueling a gasoline vehicle and recharging an electric one. Could this groundbreaking battery technology potentially revolutionize the world? How does ultra-dense battery technology transform the electric vehicle industry? We know that many are unaware of this new type of battery and its origins. Well, Amprius, a startup from Stanford University based in Fremont, California, is the driving force behind it. They are pioneering the idea of lithium-ion batteries by replacing a small but crucial component with a widely available material, resulting in significant advancements. What is that component? In ultra-dense battery technology, using silicon instead of traditional graphite is a significant breakthrough. Silicon, often in nanowire or other nanostructures, enhances lithium-ion storage capability, being able to store over 10 times more ions than graphite. However, volume expansion during charging and discharging reduces silicon's efficiency. A solution is silicon nanowire technology, which addresses volume expansion issues and improves battery durability and lifespan. For the cathode, both traditional and advanced battery materials like lithium cobalt oxide and sulfur are utilized in lithium sulfur batteries. In electrolytes, both liquid and solid forms can be used, with solid electrolytes often preferred in ultra-dense battery designs to enhance safety and energy density. Lastly, separators in ultra-dense batteries are commonly made from polymer or ceramic materials, aiding in preventing short circuits and controlling lithium-ion flow within the battery. Amprius has identified the positive or carbon electrodes as the Achilles heel of batteries, which are easy to repair but view silicon as the perfect stationary material. Silicon stores lithium much better than lead, with a single silicon atom capable of storing four lithium ions. Just that alone means silicon positive electrodes have up to 24 times higher efficiency than conventional lead positive electrodes. It also allows silicon anode batteries to have nearly 10 times higher energy density than conventional lithium ion batteries with lead or carbon positive electrodes. Higher density equates to fewer batteries. In other words, less battery weight is needed to achieve similar performance. The positive electrodes made of lead or carbon in lithium ion batteries are crucial, essentially the heart of the battery. Although they enable everything to function, they're seen as not very efficient. In lithium ion batteries, the electrolyte carries lithium ions from the positive carbon or lead electrode to the negative electrode. It's important to note, both positive and negative electrodes store lithium. It takes six lead atoms to store one lithium ion during charging through a process called intercalation. This is a significant bottleneck that lithium batteries can achieve, and many electric vehicle manufacturers are grappling with it, including Tesla. So why do many battery manufacturers not use silicon? Firstly, silicon is perhaps too good at storing lithium. It tends to absorb so much lithium that it can swell up to three to four times its volume during charging. This swelling phenomenon, after just a few charge-discharge cycles, can cause the positive electrode to crack and eventually destroy the battery. Therefore, we often see a small amount of silicon mixed into their standard carbon-positive electrodes, just enough to enhance their performance without causing swelling issues. The tech giant Tesla previously stated back in 2020 at their Battery Day event about their efforts to incorporate a small amount of silicon into their latest battery type. Amprius's nanotechnology develops silicon nanowires directly from the current collector, then coats them with silicon to form a positive electrode resembling a forest of trees. The result is a geometric structure almost made entirely of silicon. This helps ions and electrons move much more easily as they can travel shorter distances, improving charging and discharging times. The nanostructure also provides more surface area than lead, further enhancing energy density. And of course, it also addresses the silicon swelling issue. By using a nanowire form factor, there's enough space between the wires to accommodate volume expansion, making the positive electrode much more durable. Not to mention, the thinner configuration makes it flexible enough to bend within the substrate. Typically, scaling up such nanotechnology solutions is very challenging. After all, we're talking about silicon nanowires that are a few microns in size, smaller than the width of a human hair. Moreover, to reap all these amazing benefits, you need to figure out how to turn these small structures into big outputs. 
Amprius hopes to tackle this issue by collaborating with the Dutch company Centrotherm. They have decades of experience in scaling materials for the semiconductor and solar energy industries. Their pilot scale-up process aims to achieve lower production costs and higher yields by producing Amprius's high energy density, reliable, and potentially cheaper rolled form batteries. But how do the numbers stack up? Amprius's batteries boast an energy density of 500 watt hours a kg or 1150 watt hours per liter, over 50% better than some of the best lithium ion batteries on the market. Amprius also claims a high energy density of up to 10C compared to the typical 3C of lithium. Rating C is a measure of the speed and safety of battery charging and discharging. The higher the C rating, the faster the charging and discharging speed. This not only affects the charging time of the battery, but also the speed of energy released for high intensity applications. And the most amazing thing for ordinary customers is that this battery can reach 80% charge in less than 6 minutes. One of the most common and practical complaints about electric vehicles is that charging the battery takes more time than filling up a gas tank. If the Amprius battery can be charged in just 6 minutes, the gap between refueling a gasoline vehicle and recharging an electric vehicle will soon become quite small. In addition to the technology, silicon has some economic benefits. Unlike some other proposed battery materials, Silicon is not the next generation expensive or difficult to produce alloy. It's actually the second most abundant element on Earth. This will help reduce battery costs and ensure no supply chain issues. For comparison, 90% of the world's lead comes from one region in China, which could pose a significant supply chain risk. Silicon may also have environmental benefits, as recent studies have shown that mining and smelting lead are not the best for the environment. Lead smelting is an energy-intensive process and still relies on some of the dirtiest fossil fuels. Studies have shown that emissions from these processes are worse than we previously thought, by 4 to 10 times. So perhaps we should use silicon-positive electrodes and hurry up. In your opinion, do you anticipate that any other comparable companies will prioritize silicon to stand out in light of these future prospects of battery technology? If so, kindly reply with yes or otherwise type no in the comments so we can know. How do ultra-dense batteries compare with traditional batteries? We appreciate this ultra-dense battery as it represents a significant leap in energy storage, addressing many limitations of traditional lithium-ion batteries. One of the top concerns with conventional batteries is their limited energy density, typically ranging from 150 to 250 watt-hours a kg, lower than fossil fuel energy densities. This severely limits the range electric vehicles can achieve on a single charge. Additionally, the long charging times of traditional batteries, ranging from 1 to 12 hours depending on the charger type, are inconvenient compared to the mere minutes it takes to refuel gas or diesel-powered vehicles. This is one of the many constraints that make users hesitate to switch to electric vehicles. On the contrary, the ultra-dense battery showcases an impressive energy density, ranging between 3 to 500 watt-hours a kilogram, which is double the capacity of traditional lithium-ion batteries. This enhanced energy density allows for storing more energy within the same weight, enabling electric vehicles to travel longer distances on a single charge. Furthermore, with a volumetric energy density exceeding 1500 watt-hours per liter, the ultra-dense battery conserves space and facilitates the streamlined design of compact energy storage systems for various companies. When evaluating the lifespan and performance of traditional lithium-ion batteries, they typically only manage between 500 to 1000 charge cycles before experiencing significant power degradation, necessitating cost replacements after a few years of usage. Additionally, there are safety concerns such as the potential for electrolyte leakage and overheating, which could lead to explosions, thereby mandating the implementation of rigorous thermal management systems, thereby adding to the complexity and expense. In contrast, the ultra-dense battery can sustain excellent performance after enduring 1,000 to 3,000 charge cycles, significantly outlasting traditional counterparts. This prolonged lifespan aids in diminishing the need for frequent battery replacements, thereby reducing costs for end users. Innovations in materials and technologies such as silicon anodes and graphene contributed to heightened mechanical and chemical resilience, ensuring consistent performance throughout the battery's operational life. These batteries are also engineered to expedite charging speeds, capable of reaching full charge within approximately 15 minutes to an hour as opposed to the 1 to 4 hours required by traditional lithium-ion batteries, substantially cutting down on charging duration and enhancing user convenience. Furthermore, these batteries mitigate the associated risks of fire and explosions, further bolstering safety measures. 
Ultra-dense batteries, apart from notably enhancing performance, also bolster user safety by reducing the risk of hazardous incidents. Unlike conventional lithium-ion batteries, which raise significant environmental concerns due to the extraction of resources like lithium, cobalt, and nickel, ultra-dense batteries employ advanced materials that diminish dependence on rare and environmentally harmful metals. The extraction of these resources often involves extensive mining and substantial environmental percussions. Furthermore, the recycling practices associated with lithium-ion batteries are ineffective, resulting in considerable waste pollution. Conversely, ultra-dense batteries are designed with environmental friendliness in mind, facilitating easier recycling and reducing electronic waste. Silicon, one of the key components in ultra-dense batteries, is abundant and simpler to produce. Being the second most abundant element on Earth, this contributes to reducing battery production costs and ensuring a secure supply chain. In contrast, 90% of the world's lead supply originates from a single region in China, posing significant risks to the global supply chain. Traditional lithium-ion batteries exhibit a diminished performance under extreme temperature conditions with efficiency and lifespan significantly declining at temperatures below minus 20 degrees Celsius and above 60 degrees Celsius. In contrast, ultra-dense batteries are engineered to function effectively in both low and high temperatures, mitigating performance degradation. For instance, solid-state battery technology can operate effectively at temperatures as low as minus 30 Celsius, while maintaining stable performance at high temperatures, thereby enhancing efficiency and durability in challenging environments. Last but crucially, when comparing manufacturing costs, solid-state batteries often have a higher initial cost compared to conventional lithium-ion batteries. The manufacturing costs of solid-state batteries can range from $120 to $150 per kilowatt hour. For conventional lithium-ion batteries, that typically ranges from 100 to 130 US dollars per kilowatt hour. Although there is a difference in initial manufacturing costs, when considered the cost per charge, we see a different picture. The cost per charge of solid-state batteries is often higher than that of conventional lithium-ion batteries. For example, to charge one kilowatt hour of energy, the cost can range from 12 to 15 cents for solid-state batteries, while conventional lithium-ion batteries may only range from 10 to 13 cents. Although the initial manufacturing cost of solid-state batteries could be higher, recharging costs may be higher during usage. What immediate challenges are manufacturers facing with ultra-dense batteries? However, why are these advancements crucial? What can we do with batteries boasting higher energy density? Well, as we've hinted several times, this could mark a significant leap forward for EVs. In terms of a vehicle performance, Amprius's electric vehicles could charge in just a few minutes and have a faster 0-60 to 60 acceleration time. It could even pave the way for larger electric vehicles like trucks and commercial aircraft, although currently it's just potential speculation. And while not as flashy as high-performance electric vehicles or some other feasible applications, silicon anode batteries could be very convenient for wearable devices and consumer electronics. Just imagine a smartphone or a laptop charging to full capacity within just a matter of minutes and lasting much longer. Amprius's nanotechnology allows its batteries to overcome the swelling issues of conventional silicon anodes, which have been a major drawback. Silicon anodes are currently more expensive to produce than lithium anodes because they require specialized equipment and techniques. Moreover, creating complex nanostructures is much more challenging than manufacturing standard wires. Standard wires are drawn through molds to achieve smaller sizes, while nano wires must be developed directionally from vapor, sol gel, or electrochemical processes instead of being drawn out like regular wires. So, while silicon may be abundant, the production process is a limiting factor that could make these types of batteries too expensive for widespread use beyond the most demanding applications at present. And although to date, Amprius's batteries have performed well in lab and field tests, nanotechnology might be challenging to scale from the lab to meaningful real-world applications. As we noted earlier, Amprius is actively working to address this issue with their pilot scale rolling process. But can they do that at a reasonable cost over time? Furthermore, Amprius's technology requires proprietary anodes that are currently incompatible with existing large-scale EV battery manufacturing plants. This is partly why Amprius's current strategy is focused on niche markets like unmanned aerial vehicles. If successful, they could ramp up production, reduce costs, and begin expanding into the consumer electric vehicle market. Even if everything works perfectly, it'll still take some time before you can buy an EV with long-range, fast-charging capabilities featuring Amprius batteries inside. 
However, with all the promising analysis of the ultra-dense battery discussed above, it seems to be teetering on the edge of being too good to be true. Could this be a case of being too good to be true? While the technology has been previously tested by Mobile Power Solutions, a leading tester, it'll require further verification from national laboratories or universities before we can fully remove it from the wait-and-see category. Despite the need for further testing, Amprius appears to have a promising trajectory. The company is making significant strides towards mass production by establishing a sprawling 103-acre campus, which includes their existing 1.278 million square foot facility in Brighton, Colorado. This state-of-the-art factory is poised to substantially enhance Amprius's manufacturing capabilities, initially offering a capacity of 500 megawatt hours with a potential for expansion of up to 5 gigawatt hours within the current infrastructure. Their ambitious objective is to commence operations within the next few years, marking a significant milestone in the advancement of their groundbreaking battery technology. As mentioned earlier, Amprius isn't the only company finding success with silicon and nanotechnology. 1D has collaborated with GM and is also exploring nanotechnology solutions for silicon anode batteries. Together, they've developed the GM Ultium silicon anode battery. Sela Nano's nanotechnology has been incorporated into Whoop's wearable fitness tracker since 2021. Their enhanced batteries will become the standard in the Mercedes G-Class SUV starting in 2026. Additionally, Group 14 Technologies will supply silicon batteries for Porsche vehicles next year. All these companies are in the process of gearing up for mass production, which is always a good sign. In the near future, advancements in ultra-dense battery technology could pave the way for Tesla to incorporate this type of battery into their new line of electric vehicles, including the Model 2 Redwood, Tesla Van, and Tesla Bus. With Tesla's commitment to innovation and performance, integrating the advanced battery technology could propel their vehicles further in terms of efficiency and travel range per charge. The collaboration between Tesla and ultra-dense battery manufacturers could lead to a significant breakthrough in the electric vehicle industry, driving the development of clean and sustainable transportation worldwide. Will this ultra-dense battery change the world? It seems like we won't have to wait too long to find out. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World community, be Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon and stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy.